right. Thank you so much for joining us on our 101st edition of Lunch Out Loud Ottawa. Nice. <laughs> My name is Nick Petruski. And I'm Andrew Miller. And of course, we're the podcast that talks to the people, places, events, and music that make this city the incredible city that it is. And we have a special uh, little year in review. We know it's a little past January, but whatever. We'll Happy still New look, Year either way. We'll still look back at the year. Happy New Year's. Uh, so we're going to recap a lot of our episodes from last year. So maybe if you haven't listened to a lot of the shows from last year, maybe uh, one or two of these will pique your interest and you'll listen back. Because even if we've already done these episodes, you can still go back and learn about these awesome people in your city. Mm-hmm. That and listen to all the great music of all the uh, local artists that we've had on there. Exactly right. So and also, so we're going to do about 15 minutes that way. And then after that, we're going to play one more song from our special special guests this week and then Don and Jen from Foodie Prince will take over the second half of the show and they're going to do a look back on the food industry in Ottawa mm-hmm. and everything that happened to them they of course wrote the awesome book uh, Ottawa Food and then uh, they're going to give a preview to what you can expect in the new year with food with regards to food maybe some new restaurants it's going to be a lot of fun so awesome. before we get to that why don't we check this out Hey, this is Mackenzie from Monday I Retire. Today on Lunch Out Loud, you'll be listening to three of our newest tracks, Wasting, Como Si Bella, and Closer To. You can catch us this Friday, January 9th, at the beautiful Black Sheep Inn in Wakefield, Quebec, alongside our wonderful friends in Hooray Band. Thanks so much for listening. Much Monday I retire, so of course, catch them Friday tomorrow with the Hooraya Band. It's the Hooraya Band's two year anniversary, so they're doing a special show out at the historic Black Sheep Inn. So that's gonna nice. be a lot of fun that night. Nice, and I believe the cold snap is supposed to be over tomorrow, so let's hope that's uh, th- that's so. And then you can actually leave your house and I hope so. This was not a, it's not the most fun week, but like no. we we're all we we're so excited for not having snow throughout uh, Christmas and New Year's. And then it just dumps on us. I know you're happy. I'm happy. I know you're happy. <laughs> My car's more not, snow, less cold. My that's car's not happy. That's one thing. <laughs> All right. So starting off last year in January, we got to have a great start at uh, meeting Lon at the Big Rig. So mm-hmm. a lot of great things from Big Rig last year. They expanded to Canada and Gloucester. They yeah. did a special collaboration, the uh, Peppermint Porter with Bose. So it's good yeah. to see that Bose is doing I still haven't had a chance to uh, try that out, actually. Neither have I. I've tried to find it. It's hard to find. It is very hard and to find. And it'll be interesting to see with the LCBO. They're allowing uh, local local beers into the LCBO now. We'll see if that works. Yeah, it's, that's great. Even over the past year, I guess, the Ontario craft brew section as a whole in the LCBO has gotten a lot larger. And that's, what, that's really good They're expanding to the beer store, though. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's going to be uh, that's going to be interesting to well, see. I think the beer co- beer store kind of has to, right? Especially with this big push for uh, for uh, convenience stores starting to sell alcohol. You know, the beer store's got to do something to gain some business. I know I'm a beer drinker, a and I don't go yeah. to the beer store anymore. I haven't been there in so, maybe three years. So that's got to tell you something. May, maybe <laughs> maybe uh, I'll go there in the future. Probably not. Still, I love going to the bre- I love going to the breweries. And yeah, talking to them, oh, for sure. Talking to the awesome owners. So uh, after that, we talked to uh, Robbie over at the Fawdtown Gallery. Yeah, still going strong there. I know uh, your brother-in-law's Dom. He had a, yeah. he had a show there on the on the Christmas break. Great show, yeah. Great very prints. successful. Yeah. So the, go to Fawdtown Gallery on Somerset. We did a winter view, a winterlude preview. Uh, of course, 
Uh, we won't be doing one this year, but uh, this year looks great as well. I see that they have a, a 5km obstacle course in the snow on the 31st with 25 different obstacles at Lansdowne. That's yeah. going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. And so, again, if you listen back to our Winter Loot episode, you'll know which websites to go to to get all the information that you do need. There we go. I, I was just searching. Like, www.winterloot.com is bought by somebody that's waiting for Winterloot to, like, pay them <laughs> yeah. thousands of dollars. I think they might be waiting a while. Yeah. yeah the, the government <laughs> won't be paying for that. Uh, after that, we got to spend some time in Mary Taggart's awesome home in Westboro. Yeah. And, of course, we'll have a new edition of Ottawa at Home magazine coming soon. And you'll see you see her around everywhere in the city. She's wonderful. Yeah. We had three awesome up-and-coming university volunteers. Uh, one of them, which started Sig Bins, which you're starting to see in Centertown area. So yeah, I don't li- I don't live down there, and, so, and I don't walk a lot down in Centertown. But they're actually you see they're a there now. Yeah, there. they just I saw oh, them right installing on. them last week, so that's you're going to see them a lot more. So that was great. Where we talked people about should that. just quit smoking altogether. But I mean, uh, <laughs> how can people smoke in this weather? Yeah, I don't know. I, I really don't know. At least they're getting rid of those cigarette butts. I always thought that was weird. How. Uh, just chucking cigarette around. butts isn't considered littering and you won't get a ticket for it. You know exactly. I mean? like, 100%. So yeah, yeah. hopefully those safe bins will uh, do more. And then yeah. you can maybe dress them up, make them look good. I don't yeah. know. Great things with the Boys and Girls Club as well. So uh, then we got to go to uh, Edgar in Gatineau. We oh, made our fray over there delicious. with Marisol. And awesome I've been over food. there repeatedly, repeatedly after that. <laughs> $26 for a meal for two ah, that you can't cook at home and you're going to... You're going to be so much happier than going to McDonald's. Yeah, uh, we went. We met up with John from the Ottawa Race Weekend. Yeah, so learned all about how they put that together. That amazing race weekend. That's so much fun. Of course, there are many races around the city, so it's not just that one race. But uh, this this one is uh, almost sold out for this year, which is crazy. Mm-hmm. Then I then we got schooled in tennis from Petra. <laughs> and yeah, so and she's training hard for this year. So. Petra's still looking for sponsors. If if you would love to sponsor a dedicated, awesome tennis pro from Ottawa, go check her out. Yeah. I got to see her play in the summer. That was a lot of fun. Some doubles, and she was traveling to Mexico, uh, Europe, all around the state. So that's oh, a lot that's of fun. Good. Tim from lunch. Yeah. Great uh, location in Ottawa. That's a lot of fun there. Yeah. We had uh, the Live, Work, Play group uh, right after that, and that was a lot of fun. Uh, Great, great to learn about that their initiatives and uh, they're always looking to improve the lives of uh, you know the some of the mentally and physically challenged, which is awesome. Yeah. Uh, Rocco and uh, and company from Bottega. Bottega de Castro. So it looks like I guess their new location that we were talking about uh, isn't going to fly now. They pulled the plug on the uh, on the building. That is correct. Yeah. So we'll uh, we'll see where they pop up next. I don't know, but. I know they're still trying hard. I know they were recently in Italy doing some research, so we can look, expect some great stuff from there. There we go. Oh, we had uh, Eric Iot, a home inspector, yeah. talking about how to insulate your home. I guess you could use that now. So anybody that's looking to buy a home right now or uh, looking to fix up their home, learn from a home in- inspector that we had. So Yeah, we had uh, Prototype D, nonprofit group. Do a lot of great things in Ottawa. Yeah, they're uh, building and outside of Ottawa, for that matter. But I, that was a really interesting episode. I thought the the innovation center is underway, so that should yeah. be completed within a year, and that they keep us updated with that. Tracy Clark from Bridgehead, so always great stuff coming from Bridgehead. Yeah, likewise. Right after that, we jumped a couple of blocks over, went to Beyond the Pale, a delicious <laughs> episode that was. <laughs> they and they've done collaborations with uh, with Bridgehead as well, so yeah. that's great. So Beyond the Pale, they're looking to move. I was talking to them the other day, and I think they're looking to move in April. April's the, they're going to start that's brewing within a now. month. Oh, that's going to be And good. then April is when they're going to be able to start opening it up to the public. We met up with Nikki from OSSC, which is starting this week. So t- I think today is the f- one of the final days to uh, get into the uh, winter uh, leagues of OSSC. Yeah. Oh, then we had some landscaping tips with uh, Rocky Laporte. Yeah. Um, not going to be doing much landscaping out there right now, but uh, once spring comes, <laughs> you might want to listen back to that episode. We met the, uh, the t- some of the team behind Awesome Ottawa, an incredible uh, initiative that gives back $1,000, no strings attached. Yeah. If you have a, an idea or a concept that is going to make Ottawa a better place, check out Awesome Ottawa. So that was a lot of fun. Jeff Westonida from 
from Windmill Developments. Ah, so yeah. they're in the news a lot. I think the Eddie is almost done. The Cathedral is almost done. Yeah. And they're going to break ground on the uh, oh, the Dom Tower project this year. I can't wait for that to get going. So that's and more cool. importantly, I can't wait for it to be completed. <laughs> <laughs> the summer. Then when we there we go. We started into the summer music preview. We met up. We went to the Museum of Nature to talk about uh, the yeah. their present exhibit. Uh, how many people go through there? How often they're changing their uh, their exhibits? Yeah, they're closed now for some annual maintenance, uh, if I do believe so, and uh, they'll be back cleaning open the for, dinosaurs. That's it. I got to clean that stuff yeah. up, and then there'll be another maybe uh, they're filming nature a movie. Maybe coming they're filming up. a movie. Yeah, on January twenty third. Yeah, that's right. Uh, we got the Fringe Festival. Yeah. So that was great meeting up with Pat at the Fringe Festival, and I know they've already had the draw so for next year. So. Uh, if you're into art, if you're into cheap, awesome uh, plays, that's definitely one to check out. Inexpensive, we'll say. Inexpensive. Definitely not cheap. It's, it's very... Cheap yeah. in price, awesome <laughs> yeah, experience. Exactly. Chose the wrong words, which I usually yeah. do. Uh, we got an update on the Dragon Boat Festival, which was so much fun this year. I had a lot of fun uh, attending that. Great concerts there. Yeah. Then we did that live show. That was really fun, uh, right on the canal. With did uh, John Deck and Atherton. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Very warm day, a lot differently than today. Met up with Yannick from Lexagon Menswear. Yeah. So if you do not, if you're looking for menswear and you want to shop local, definitely check out Yannick's shop on Dalhousie. For it sure. It is an incredible shop. He goes beyond customer service with you. So if, if you're looking, if you don't know what you're going to buy as a guy, like I don't know half the time, you want to go make you see look him. Good. He'll make you look good. He's in the, that's, that's the business. He's like the, the life, real life Photoshop for yourself. <laughs> Go in there and I'll fix you right up. <laughs> It'll look like you're from a magazine. We met up with uh, Cardell Holmes. So that was very interesting learning how they come up with their yeah. ideas and yeah, awesome sustainability. We'll get some more builders on. Sustainability, that's a great call. Thank you for that. I'll mm -hmm. put that down on our list. Yeah. <laughs> we uh, met up with the lads from Crush Improv who uh, played last Monday night. At 8 p.m., so the first Monday of every single month at the Heart and Crown in the market, where yep. Marty is now the manager. That's it. <laughs> and uh, they also did a bunch of plays in uh, August that were great. So definitely, if you want a $5 incredible time out, Monday, first Monday every month. Yeah. Met up with Rob Reeve from the House of Paint. They're actually looking for a new general manager right now. So if you're oh, looking really? for a position with an awesome festival, yeah, that was so much fun. So much color. Oh, yeah. And every year it's just getting bigger and better, too. So many people out there having a great time, and uh, it's awesome to see. Met up with Aaron Kaye from the Antique Skate Shop. Uh, so it's well underway, the construction over at McNabb. I saw that. I, saw that. I really like that uh, artistic piece they added the, uh, just on the side, gate? that big tree yeah, the there. Gate? Yeah. That's super cool. That's I just really noticed cool. that the other day. And uh, yeah, so that's going to be fun. They're still raising money at... Uh, yeah, so I believe it's, what was it, $20 a square foot? 40 Was 40? it 20 Was it 20 ah, I think it was 20 You're just right. Go donate something. Exactly. <laughs> uh, the Bytown Museum. So learning what that little... Museum down near uh, the end of the canal where the lift locks go. Yeah, that you know what's really up with that. Really uh, interesting. Some too. awesome uh, stories about Ottawa that you may not know yeah. that are a lot of fun. Brew donkey. Yeah, that was a lot of fun meeting that up. That brew donkey tour was great, <laughs> and I've been dying to go on another one since. I'm just waiting for some boys to come in from out of town. And, That's and a great I think idea. We'll go. That's a great idea. Let yeah. me know. I'd go. The, I'll be there sure. for there. So we traveled around. To uh, where did we go? Oh, Bose we Castleman, no, uh, Bose Ca Castleman, and we went to the place in uh, uh, Rigo. Rigo, yeah. So uh, a lot of fun there. Beaver Beaver Brewing, I think it was. Cra oddly enough, I screwed up the interview on the second half. I don't know how that happened. Oh yes, that's oh, right. Yeah, never, <laughs> never expected that to happen with tons of alcohol and yeah. <laughs> going on. Uh, then we did a preview for Ottawa Architecture Week, which I think was a huge success. A lot of people went out. Great, uh, great response from the community. So I hope they do it again. Yeah. We met up with the uh, great ladies Danielle and uh, from the Citizens Academy. So that was great. Danielle just recorded her first album. So listen yeah, to the music there. Really she's good. been doing incredible. Speaking of music, then we had Craig Cardiff on as we toured around in our first Uber ride. Since we did that, that's all I hear about now. I find. Like Facebook and others.